Palm Springs. More weather and traffic coming up. All right, 647 right now the time. Let's start it off as a small collection. He's taken over his house. <laughs> this guy collects tiki cups, and he now has more than 500 of them, but I hear that's a conservative estimate. He might have more than 700. We're talking about Chris Garland, and he's joining us now live from his house in Long Beach for a look around. Good morning, Chris, and of course you're wearing a Hawaiian print shirt. Yes, very nice. Well, good morning to you, too. Yes. What do you have in your hand there? The island lifestyle around. I love it. I have a tiki mug here. It's a Fred Roberts from the 60s. It's one of my oldest mugs, one of the first mugs I collected. Are those valuable? What could something like that go for on the eBay or wherever you would trade such things? Recently, they go for seventy-five to one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Are you serious? Uh, oh, show us some more, please. Wow. Yeah, we need. Well, we, we must see more tiki. Well, I have a few mugs here. Um, I've got I've got mugs from uh, different events over the years that we've gone to. Mugs from Hawaii. Mugs from bars in Hawaii. <laughs> from the Purple Orchid in El Segundo. Forbidden Island up in Alameda. I one of, one say, of my favorite mugs. I have to say, I didn't realize there were that many tiki mugs out there. Yeah, what a variety. I had no oh, idea. There's, there's there's thousands of mugs out there, and they're, they're more being produced all the time. Really? Is um, that a top tiki, seller tiki, tiki mug? Farm. That looks like Magnum that is, P.I. That is, a, <laughs> that is a series right there, Magnum P.I. There's Don Ho next to it, right. uh, Jack Lord, Book Em Down, Hawaii Five-O, and then, of course, the King. Oh, the King. No. What's your favorite one? Like what, of all of them all, what is your one favorite one? That might be like picking a favorite it's child. Just, it just happens to be the one I'm holding right here. Oh, this okay. is my wedding mug. This was made for my wife and I's wedding back in 2009 oh. by Tiki Farm. A good friend of mine, Holden Westland, helped me design it. It has our names on it. It has, it has the date of our wedding, so that way I can never forget our anniversary. Yeah. Oh, that's very helpful. And then on the back, it's got a, a depiction of the Bali High down at Shelter Island where we got married. Oh. And, of course, the famous trademark of my wife, Karen, woohoo. Woohoo. Can, uh, can Karen give us a little woohoo this morning? Karen, can you give us a woohoo? Woohoo! <laughs> there you guys, there you go. What a great I couple. I love this collection. How many times do you, you and Karen go to Hawaii? I mean, are you there like every other weekend? Oh. No, yeah, we're there almost every weekend. Every time we step into my tiki bar, we're, we're in Hawaii oh, right here. But we've been to Hawaii goodness. actually a couple times. Look at that. And uh, we were there on our honeymoon. Oh, that is beautiful. And I see a little tiki totem right there, too. Later this morning, you're going to take us to a tiki festival where they sell lots of this stuff. It's a big party happening yes. today, so we'll see you in a little bit. It is so nice to meet you, and thank you for letting us in your this home. great. If you've got a kooky collection... Thank you, Kristen Wendy. No, absolutely. Thank you. If you've got a kooky collection, we'd love to hear from you. Email us weekends at ktla.com. Please include your name, address, and phone number. Put kooky in the subject line. We'd love to come visit you next weekend. Beautiful. You've good moves. It's uh, 6.50 right now here. After the break, we've got a deal to tell you about an eight-day stay in the...